Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's a big day because I'm reviewing Laced Up by Donovan Mount, in which I have a very, uh, maybe a different take than most reviewers out there that I think you'll want to watch if you're considering purchasing this. But first, let's do a quick fiddle tune. All right, that's it. Stick around so you can get my take on Laced Up by Donovan Mount. Yellow? Yeah. No, hey, sorry, I can't talk right now. Yeah, no, I'm trying to do a review. What? Yeah, no, I know this is a shoe. Doesn't matter. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a call on another line. Yes? Hello? Oh, hi, Laced Up. How are you? Yeah, no, I'm doing a review today on your, uh, on your release. All right, yeah, no, I'm going to be kind of brutally honest. All right, make sure you watch it. Bye-bye. Sorry you had to endure that. Uh, welcome to the channel, everyone. I'm Fiddlin' Johnny, and this is my Fiddle Channel and Magic Product Review. Today, I'm really going to do a different perspective than I think all other reviewers out there who have been reviewing Laced Up by Johns and Mount. I broke my cardinal rule. Um, and uh, let me start by first saying, I've had Laced Up for multiple weeks now, have been playing with it, performing it. And uh, I think I walk away with a very different perspective than other reviewers. I wrote up my review with my perspective and a strongly formed opinion. Then I went and watched a couple of other reviewers. And boy, they're all just overwhelmingly positive. And there's a lot of positive things to say about Laced Up. But what I'm going to try to attempt for you today are the things that I wish I'd known before I purchased it and things that I hope will be helpful for you if you are considering purchasing it. And on some of the things, if you've already got it and I hit on some of the things that you are experiencing or you have an opposite experience, make sure you leave that down in the comments. All right, if you've been underneath a rock and you don't know what Laced Up is, Laced Up is one of the hottest new releases in the last month or two. It's released by Donovan Mount uh, through Penguin, Penguin Magic? Yeah, it's released through Penguin Magic. And um, in essence, what it is, and I will hopefully uh, actually do a performance and put it towards the end uh, of this, or maybe I'll do it before I've started, so maybe I've already showed it. But in essence, you take uh, your shoe, which is on your foot, and you borrow a spectator's ring and you're able to do a solid through solid by being able to attach the ring down here to the very first lace towards the tip of your shoe. Of course, the challenge is how to get it off. You have to undo uh, all of the laces on your shoe, but of course you're a magician and you're able to just simply remove the bow, reattach it to the bottom, untie the shoe and pull the ring off. And if you want to do an instant reset, of course you can, you just retie your shoe and move the bow back to the top where the tongue is. Uh, that's the effect of laced up. It's really a great visual uh, sort of solid through solid type of a presentation. Uh, and that's what I think people are really responding to how clean and beautiful it looks. So let's talk a little bit about what you get. And before I go into what you get, I want you to know at the very end of this video, I'm gonna talk really about the pain points. And while I'll hit those as I'm going along, it really ultimately, uh, I feel like there's some pain points that I want you to know about. All right, so what are you gonna get? So you're gonna get two full sets of normal shoelaces that are black laces, boom, just like this. But you're also gonna get an additional six sort of gimmick laces. And when I say six gimmick laces, that doesn't mean, oh my gosh, if one set wears out, I've got five others I can go to. No, you're going to need all six aspects of these gimmick laces to complete your single um, lace in order to perform this. So basically you're going to get sort of two short ones and two long ones, uh, laces that are gimmicked in order to perform this. You're also going to get a tutorial that is downloadable and streaming and it's 29 minutes and 30 seconds long. So we'll basically call it, it's a 30 minute tutorial on here. Let's talk about the instructions and Immediately, this is where I start to have some of the challenges. Overall, a really good tutorial. I think Donovan's a really good teacher, especially 
for his very first release. It's shot in the Penguin Studio, so you know the quality is good. Uh, but there's a couple things that I want to point out with the tutorial, and that is I felt like it needed points where it needed tighter shots. They did have the camera zoom in at points to give you a tighter shot. I didn't feel like that was a tight enough shot. I'd also add that on the tutorial, there are moments where I found myself rewinding and rewinding and rewinding a couple times to make sure I was getting it right. Because as I was going through the tutorial, I was also setting up my gimmick on my shoe. And while the instructions seem to make sense and uh, very clear, my personal experience was not matching what I was seeing on the screen. So I meant pause, rewatch, did I do that right? Yep, I've done that right, great. Why does this not feel quite right? Okay, I think I know why. Now I make some adjustments, rewind again. Okay, that didn't quite fix it, so all right, let me make another adjustment. Okay, I think I'm a little bit closer. I don't love it, but I'm a little bit closer. All right, let's move on. Uh, and that happened multiple times. I think some things that could have solved that is that there are critical points in the instructions that could have just repeated again a couple times. Like, let me show that to you again. Here's what I'm doing uh, that I think would have made the tutorial just that much better um, along with the tighter shot. And there's a couple points that I think are, are real critical. The initial setup will probably take you, it might take me about an hour, to be honest. Maybe for other folks it'll take about, if you're really good at 30 minutes. It took me an hour before I felt like, okay, now I finally have it feeling right on my foot, looking right to a spectator performance, um, and know that when you do the initial setup, it's gonna just take you time. That's not a bad thing. Uh, it's just something I want you to be aware of. If you're someone who thinks you're going to open it up out of the box, uh, lace up your shoes and you're ready to go, that is not the case. Uh, you can expect to putz for a while until it feels like it's right on your shoe. All right. Uh, I would have to say overall, I'm not dogging Donovan here. I think his instruction is good. It's simply, I think, from a director point of view, is that get some tighter shots and repeat some sections that are critical uh, pieces for your uh, learner to know. Um, I also felt like, you know, just to highlight it again, like when you first learn how to detach the tide bow and reattach it uh, to the other end of your shoe, that that's a pretty critical point and that there is knackiness in that process. It would have been nice to have Donovan go over. It's like, Here's what I've learned over time from performing this that just makes it a little bit easier. Or here's a challenge I experienced and here's how I've overcome it. Basically, you get Donovan sort of showing you what the hand movement is with the single hand and the um, uh, removing the shoelace and reattaching the shoelace and sort of talking through how that works. But honestly, it was not enough for me to feel satisfied and I felt frustrated in the process. So. Uh, just sort of ex, uh, expect that none of this is insurmountable. You're basically going to need to put in the practice time so that you understand where your pain points are so that you can overcome those. Let's talk about the gimmick. This might be, in my opinion, one of the most positive things I'm going to say about this release. The gimmick is really freaking awesome. It is clear that it took time to construct these and to construct them well. Mine are awesome. Um, will they last a long time? Yeah, probably. Will they have some fraying at a certain point? Yeah, probably. Uh, but even with some of the fraying that's going on, I think it's not gonna be noticed by my spectators because they don't know what to look for. Uh, so the gimmick is really, really awesome. Uh, no problem there. What I wanna talk about next is the skill level. Skill level, I would say, is advanced beginner to intermediate. Um, and I say that simply because if you're brand new in magic, you can work on some other stuff that's very self-working uh, and helps you on your performance stuff. This is just a little bit more knacky and it's going to require more hours of practice. Any beginner can do it. So if you're a beginner and you really want to do it, you can do it. Just expect that you need to put in practice time for it to look awesome. All right. Um, 
you know, uh, on some reviews they talked about picking the right shoes. And I have a different opinion compared to other magicians, I think, on this. I find that my spectators do not notice the gimmick at all, even when I performed it poorly. Um, I think I've heard some reviewers talk about it's nice if you use black shoes so that you can camouflage it a little bit. I actually think I could honestly go with a white tennis shoe and my black laces um, because I think it's easier to actually see the ring when you attach the ring on there and I'm not worried about them noticing the gimmick because they can't even fathom that your shoelaces are gimmicked and begin to understand how that would work. So I actually think you could use this with a lot of different shoes and despite that the tutorial and mine are with uh, a tennis shoe or a runner, you can also, I think, I'd feel just as comfortable putting these in my nice dress shoes and using these as my black laces in dress shoes. So um, I actually don't think you have to worry as much as some folks might say about the color of your shoe. I'm very comfortable uh, having faces close to the gimmick and then having no idea about it. Let's talk a little bit about what some of the pros are. Uh, a lot of people are calling this trick of the year. I don't know if, for me if it falls into the trick of the year. And maybe that's because uh, it's not the sort of effect I go nuts about. I do see why people are responding so positively because it's a great visual effect. Um, and maybe my opinion will change over time. Um, yeah, but uh, from a pro perspective, it is a great visual effect. I also have to add, it's great everyday carry. I wear these shoes regularly and now I just throw them on and if I want to perform or someone asks me to perform, I'm ready to go immediately and they'll never suspect or see it coming. Uh, once you've got it set up, you're set up and ready to go forever. So it's not like the reset, the reset's really fast. You can do it right in front of your spectator and you're immediately ready to go. I like that it's great impromptu magic um, and I think this could pair nicely with the self-tying shoelaces. I don't have self-tying shoelaces, but if the laces match enough, I think this could be really, really well. Uh, and if you want to buy an extra set of laces so you have it on both your shoes, I think that's a nice idea as well. Of course, it's going to set you back some scratch, but um, it is, is really nice. All right, some of the cons here. I think this probably works best for adults and adult shoes. If you're a woman um, and you wear shoes that Black shoelaces are going to be fine, then it's going to be great, but it, you know, something to think about for female performers. Um, uh, what else would I say are some of the cons? Uh, I'd like a more color shoelaces. Like I have like, you know, let's say I have a bright red pair of tennis shoes. I would love to have bright red laces to this, so I hope Donovan puts these out in multiple colors uh, over time because I think that would be really kind of cool and really, really nice. Uh, the other major con I would just say is, in the tutorial, I wanted tighter shots so that I could get a real close-up look uh, on the tutorial in terms of setup and the actual moves when they're happening. Who's going to like this? I think just about any magician is going to like this, whether you're a mentalist or a magician. Uh, it's, it's a cool effect. I think particularly though, if you're somebody who is a street performer, it's going to be great for street performers, great for street busters. Um, if you really like to do impromptu organic magic with your friends, you're going to love this because uh, I think it's just great everyday carry. Let's talk about the cost. In the United States, it's $59.95. So essentially, it's $60. Um, I think actually that price is worth it because the gimmicks could not have been easy to make. I am not at any point going to try to make the gimmick myself. While I could, I'm not going to. Uh, it's not worth the time and frustration, and they've, Donovan clearly has the knowledge and however they uh, have manufactured these. I think they manufactured them really nice, and it clearly took time to make these, so I think probably the time and effort to make these uh, makes sense for what the cost is on these. So let me summarize in terms of what I think some of the main pain points are is that your initial setup is going to take time and getting it just right or getting it perfect uh, will take time. 
uh, and even then you may not be completely satisfied. I find that my gimmick shoe is just looser on my foot uh, and I don't really like that, but it's something like I can live with it. It's not a deal breaker for me. Um, getting your bow tied on your shoelace is a little tricky and it's going to take practice. And I don't feel like I gave it adequate time on the tutorial to cover that. At the end of the day, you just have to put in the practice time to get it and understand it and what works best for you. Uh, but I do want folks to understand, while not a deal breaker, it will take time and effort to tie the bow, attach, reattach, unattach, reattach, and getting that perfect and looking nice takes time and practice without flashing. I'll also add what I said earlier. I think a lot of reviews that I've watched, I disagree with magicians as it's related to that um, you don't want folks to see uh, your laces. You don't want them to get too close. I think that's zero problem. I think that's more of a magician uh, issue. I've had nobody even remotely notice any uh, laces that are gimmicked because they don't even understand that they can be gimmicked. Uh, even with a little bit of frame going on, uh, they just don't notice it because once you get a little bit of distance, no one can see it. I can see it from a mile away because I know it's there, but my spectator doesn't have any idea. I'm going to add one other important point. Um, when I watched these other reviews, one stood out to me and that was BF Entertainment. You should all go and watch BF Entertainment's review of uh, Laced Up. I think he did a really nice job. And if you've never been to BF Entertainment, it's a young person, I, I believe. Uh, BF is like 11 years old, 11 or 12 years old, somewhere in there. And despite his age, if he's 12 years old or 112, he clearly has good knowledge and wisdom for his age uh, and has a perspective that I thought was really good and really thorough and worthy of taking the time to go watch it. So please go check out BF Entertainment. I'll link, leave a link down below uh, to go to his YouTube channel and watch his review uh, of Laced Up. I really appreciated his perspective. You should also go check out Tyler Lunsford's review of this. Tyler did a uh, live performance, reviewed, and did an interview with Donovan Mount. And while both of those folks did awesome reviews and we have different perspectives, I think getting those different perspectives can be helpful for you when you're considering Laced Up. All right, that's it. Make sure you leave a comment down below in terms of if you have it, what you think, if we share some of the same experiences. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. If you haven't already gone and checked out my top 10 magic products of 2022, go check that out. Uh, and hit the like button. It's free, and I'd really appreciate it if you could do that for me. Thank you everyone for being here. I'm Fiddlin' Johnny, and remember to keep fiddling around with your magic. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. All right, let's do a quick demo of Laced Up by Donovan Mount. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and do a demo. I have borrowed a spectator's ring, and I like this ring because it's big and large and you can really see it and I'm simply going to attach it at the bottom here and I found the one-handed approach is more challenging than if you use two hands but you can see it is now on there it can freely move around of course the challenge is how do you get it off well you just will remove your bow like so And with your bow, you're able to move it down to the bottom here and simply release. Your ring. All right, and then you reset right away if you want to. You can go ahead, tie up your, your laces once again. nicely. If folks want you to move them, you can simply do so by moving it back up.
There we go. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Laced up.